to the Farm Bill, a show that drives towards inspiring a generation of creators through the ideas of innovators that started as a tiny god. Well, today we have Sachin the Pires to talk about the issues concerning the ban of feeding stray dogs here in Sri Lanka. Well, jumping right into the first question, um, what what do you think about this whole issue of you know not being able to feed these stray dogs? Um, so I did see this particular story mm-hmm. uh, circulating in uh, social media. I think I read it on Instagram. Um, that a popular um, socialite and and uh, lady of influence um, using her political contacts uh, to ban the feeding of stray dogs in and around Vihar Mahadevi Park. Um, so I have not verified this story myself but I saw it and I actually thought um, this this makes a nice space for us to start talking about it. There is conversation around it already but um, it is good that this happened. We now have a conversation. Um, so, first of all, I have to say um, it is bizarre the level of entitlement. If this story is true, that these people just come up with, um, you have you are politically connected, and you somehow use your connections to just because it feels right to you. Um, no consequences, just gets away with it, and. Um, so that's bizarre to me. <laughs> that that sounds insane. Uh, all right. So, uh, how do you think people can get together and help take these strays off the street? Uh, so that's a big question. Um, I read somewhere that uh, recently that said there's about three to four million stray dogs in Sri Lanka currently. Um, so it's a big, big task. Um, clearly, the answer is not banning. <laughs> feeding them um, but <clears throat> we uh, I wish this person who was involved um, actually anybody who's involved we, we, we really need a lot of awareness programs a uh, lot of education and a lot of resources that needs to go into it um, because this is a problem that needs to be addressed like immediately um, there are living breathing beings out there that are not cared for and uh, not only from a compassion point of view but also from like health point of view like they bring in a lot of diseases they get sick themselves and it's just not sustainable so it has to be addressed so I think a lot of education programs a lot of awareness there's a lot of actually uh, people, good-hearted people, getting together with other people, coming up with organizations by themselves, uh, spending on things out of their own pockets, spending their own time, uh, doing feeding programs, paying for programs. And it's amazing, but it's not enough if it's not also coming from a state point of place. You know, it, it, it needs, there should be policy in place. Um, our government should be involved. Um, they can take leadership here, they should, because we are always looking out for each other, we are helping, we are doing everything we can, but it needs to come from place of uh, power too, they can help. Yeah. Alright, so then what are your thoughts about enacting the Animal Welfare Bill? Um, it is needed, it is so very needed, we needed it like yesterday, but um, it has to happen like immediately. Um, I think we can benefit from it. Um, all animals, including dogs and elephants and whoever else, um, there's a lot that can be done through the bill. You know, like even 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 from a feeding to spaying um, programs, um, everything else in between also can be addressed if we have some form of structure in place. Um, it's definitely needed. Everybody should sign the petition and get this done yeah. <laughs> like very quickly. Well, thank you so much. Well, and that is it for today's episode. But stay tuned in as we journey through the far corners of Sri Lanka to unveil the founder in you. Well, until next time, this is Ninuki signing out. Have an amazing day. Mm